Heard from the lasses down on 22 that you did a contract for Sublight. Only one, a legit haul. Smashed up a freighter out in the Charybdis belt. You ever stop to wonder how it got smashed up? Asking questions is a good way to forfeit my bonus. Some things ain't worth knowing. advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because... Rizzo, Purpleberry Fudge. A soft, sour, candy shell around a sweet, purpleberry-flavored center. Suck it. As you were. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Yes, dear. Which offer were you interested in? You could always try your hand at landing in Cascadia, if you're interested. Might be best to. Suit yourself. Any time, sweetheart. It's almost time for today's episode of the... I've got a lovely...
Oh, I'm sorry. Was this your room? I'll just move along. Wait, this is almost certainly my room. That's my underwear on the floor. Still getting acquainted? Can't go wrong if you stick to the promenade. Sure. What? Hey, I saw that. Oh, I saw Hold it right there. What do you think you're doing?
Keep your sights out, friend.
Hey there. Be seeing you. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local war embassy. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local war This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what... Have you seen this man? Reward offers for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Some condiments are not for use with some meals. Napkin at his unit is Engineers get real tetchy if you bother him. Speaking from experience. Good law, the heat in here is so unbearable, I can hardly even concentrate. Junlei better hurry up with those damn repairs already. When I started this job, you can go days without a major incident. 
Now it's just ours. Was a time I wanted to be an engineer. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Felix Millstone, nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose-related incident. Uh-huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. It's possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back, but it was only just that one time. Honest. I'd tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Then you know it's a den of criminals and miscreants. Unfortunately, I'll need to ask you to return. You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Sorry about the heat. Here, drink up. No excuse for dehydration on my watch. I do, and I'm relieved that you- According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. I keep diligent records of station repairs, requisitions, and available assets. Just the station's radiators haven't changed since her time, and her records say the parts should be there. I trust them. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. 
The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Good. The ship's groaning something fierce, but I can make time for you. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoe. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from... They must have been amazing people. To have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next Captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. You've got my attention. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udom Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard-ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later. I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the...
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisements Whatever for the following is, story. I'm working on it. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because... remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, the hell have you been, Ivan? He's seeing you, stranger. Auntie Cleo, that's who. Have you given your answer <laughs> This story brought to you by Halcyon News. Seem down. BNP, I can't believe it's not good. It's unbelievable. Have either of the assault cruisers ever put into it? Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well... She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if Maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just... It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel. They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. 
don't know. Junlei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he... Okay, so what are we drinking? Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake thinking about what June Lay said and feeling my heart shake. I'm well, drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up! Whoa! Easy there, Parvati. Maybe you want to work yourself up to whiskey next time. Good, I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? You're funny. <sighs> yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of a serial. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I don't know what to do about... us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know... Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to... This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. 
I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Water's for cowards! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration? Here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. You're swell, Captain. Don't get me wrong. I like spending time with you, going on adventures and all, but... That ain't the same as... as... romance. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? There's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hand. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? You're not. You're like me? Stands to reason, you being a dashing ship captain and all. Me, I just got a big wrench and a good swing and a... So we're... We're kin-like. That makes me... Well, uh, unaccountably happy, Cap. So, feeling how you do, what if she really does like me and then... and then she changes her mind? What do you mean, Captain? So I should just be myself? You sound like my dad. It, gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. I don't want to be that person. Don't want to be cold. I want to bring light to you. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... Come on, let's go. Where are we headed?
Apple Berry flavored Power Nuggets, now with 12% more crunch. Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun. Though, that whiskey did give my headache and something fierce. Feels like a primal's chewing on my skull. I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. With the headache I got after that whiskey? One mi- I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow... Felix keeps asking me to...
Bezos, I mean, slap. Slap your whole family tonight. When might we expect you out here again? He's still betting on the top ball series? CNP Borst Pocket. Can be macro-waved in two and a half seconds. Borst Pocket. reason they got this place at the quarantine, right? To the last rats is on rotten time! Leave me and you hull-headed quacks do know that rest- What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be wor- I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine. So should have known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I bef- All right, okay, we can discuss. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I s Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Udon was my buyer for when I'd acquired the diamond. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to start. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pa Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? You're sure no one followed you? Is it all clear or am I still a wanted? Ha! Oh, you should ask her that. She'll love it. By which I mean she'll probably have an apoplectic fit. Oh, that's just how Ellie is. According to her, she don't need no one or anything to get by in life. She can deny it all she wants, but we know each other. More than just as passing acquaintances. We've helped each other. Sometimes we even like each other. Lone pirates don't live too long, and it ain't weak to have a friend or two. You're sure no one followed? Ha! Huh? Oh, you should How do you do? Huh. How might I assist you? Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases.
that's not unreasonable. Boss, you can't be serious. The board's got no right to just enslave another human being. That's where you're wrong, young man. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that... What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? You might be surprised. But we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? You've changed your mind? You absolutely... I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're... But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. She helped me win a bet. We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. Yeah, but the important thing is I won the bet. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inc- Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail, and I've got a meaner right hook. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. You sh I'll make you one sometime. If you don't... Sure do. There's a lot of business that goes through the ground. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I... Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. Well, my blood type is AB positive, I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone- That about covers it. Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room- I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. No complaints here.
What seems now is there some take care? Pick up any more strays while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and, and ask Junle to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease and I ain't showered. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Cause I want- Uh, Captain? I know we're technically in your house and all- Purpleberry punch. You want a punch? You got your punch, right? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a home makeover kit. High-grade shampoo and conditioner. Scrubby brush. A nice... What's the scrub... Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. 
I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious-like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. I guess you could eeny miny mo it. Take your time, dear. A lady's scent says a lot about her. We didn't have anything Rosish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Any times. Uh, it's hard to talk to you when I can see all your stuff, Captain. He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Yeah, but... I... I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. You might surprise yourself. Look, you'll catch your death of cold. But put some... Oh. Thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Salt tuna. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh... Sweetheart cake. There's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Uh, it's... This is Halcyon News. Hail, Captain. Your return time is within 14... Uh, Captain? I know we're... I need to increase the toilet suction to account for the amount of fiber in those spacers' choice meals. Good to see you, boss. This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. Doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. If you say so, I'm keeping a finger on the trigger all the same. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Something on your mind?
Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? What's that? What do you mean? Do you have any examples of secrets you have kept from me? How? How did he die? I told him not to go because of his head injury. I, ne I need a moment to process this. Though I am not certain why. Thank you for confiding in me. I have been keeping a secret as well. But you shall have to discern it yourself. What? No. Absolutely not. I have no concept. Discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct. I identify entirely as a collection. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. I do not like joking about the captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. How did you guess, Captain? The simulated files are not only stored in the recesses of my ALU, in the space between micro synapses, but I encrypted them in seven SDRA languages. I see. Captain? I regret to inform you there appears to be an issue with the life support systems. Repairing the life support systems. All functions are now at stable levels. How can I be of assistance? I'll be here. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. No security. Not that I'm complaining.
Detour. Well, adventure does favor the bold. Something on your mind? Shoot up and spit out? What sort of creature, other than humans, would be so wasteful? Their mistake. Dead on.
delays in loading due to commerce obstruction will be deducted from all staff pay. Looks like we missed the fun.
I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no- Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Um, forget I said anything about that. Distress call, from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Scientist, name of Ann. Alarms went off. Um, forget I said anything about that. Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Some say chicken. I say the north end of... Anything else you'd like to know? Scientists. Um, science. Alarms went off. Um, forget I said anything. Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Don't mention it. Oh, before I forget. Antique Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that. What can I do you f Oh. Estimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship? She's okay. 